Food poisoning. Ugh. It is not good. It is really not an enjoyable situation. And if you got like projectile stuff coming out of both ends, like you could run out of toilets real quick and you're like, should I be sitting? Should I be leaning against? I don't even know what to do right now. So in this video, I'm going to give you some steps that seem to bring about the fastest relief when you have a food poisoning situation going on. So you can get back to kind of being a human as fast as you can. You don't want to miss this. TC Hill is not a doctor and does not claim to be a doctor or licensed in any type of medical field. Don't be an idiot and use anything heard on the show as medical advice. This information should be used for educational purposes only and you should contact your doctor for any medical advice. Now get off me. So when you're experiencing a food poisoning situation, you know, all the, the hurling and the diarrhea, you're like, nobody wants that, but just keep in mind that these are methods that the body is using, like, hey, we have a guest that we really did not invite and we want them to leave immediately and the, and the whole throwing up and the the water works out the back door. That's a way that the body can excrete this stuff as fast as possible and get them out of the system. So if you're having diarrhea, you might not want to take something that would, is made to stop diarrhea because then you're keeping all those microbes in the system. But if diarrhea is persisting, you do want to make sure that you're putting electrolytes back in the system because too many days of diarrhea in a row can really get rid of a lot of electrolytes and that can create a lot of problems in the body as well. So what we want to talk about today are some simple things that you can do at home naturally to kind of speed up the process of getting all this stuff out of the body. And the first thing that I like to see people do is an activated charcoal. Now this isn't charcoal from your grill, this is an activated charcoal that's meant to put in the body. And you can get it in capsules and you can find it at pretty much any health food store or on Amazon. And you're just looking for activated charcoal capsules. And people use this a lot for a variety of of poisons or toxins in the body because what it does is it goes through the intestinal tract, these poisons will adsorb to the charcoal or they'll stick to the charcoal. It's not like absorbing it, it's adsorbing. And it'll take these toxins and then carry them out the back door. So a lot of what we deal with with food poisoning is actually what the microbes are excreting, is the toxins and the poisons that they're putting out that's creating a lot of our symptoms. So we like to use charcoal to help excrete and pull these things out of the system as fast as you can. And a lot of people will use this charcoal just as a, as a detox supplement. You know, they're just trying to help get toxins out of the body. So as soon as you feel like, hey, that did not feel right in my stomach. I think this might be some bad guys in there. You can take some charcoal just in case it is a food poisoning situation. And a lot of times that can speed up the process and, and reduce the discomfort that you may have. Now, next steps you might want to take are, are things to kill off these microorganisms. One thing I hear about people using successfully is called D-limonene. And, and we use this a lot when we feel like someone might have a bacterial overgrowth in their stomach. And D-limonene is basically orange peel extract. And it's really good at killing off bacteria in the stomach. Just keep in mind that when you're killing off a lot of microorganisms at once in the digestive tract, whether that's the stomach or the small intestine, it can create some cramping. And some people believe that this cramping comes from these microorganisms kind of clamping onto the side of the intestinal tract as they're dying off. And we don't really know what's actually happening, but it is common to see cramping when there's a lot of die off at once. So understand what's going on if you're getting some discomfort in that regard. Another supplement that can be really helpful is mastic gum. And this is basically like the resin from a tree, some fancy tree somewhere. But a lot of people will use mastic gum, almost like a natural antibiotic for the digestive tract. And it basically almost like mummifies these bad guys, these little varmints, and then carries them out the back door. So the resin kind of gums them up, they get stuck up in there, it's almost like they're getting mummified, and then they can be safely removed from the body. So mastic gum can be really helpful in speeding up the process of helping the immune system to get these varmints out of the body. Now just keep in mind that when you're killing all this stuff off and taking it out the back door, when everything is good again, you really want to implement some probiotics to reestablish that good gut flora. You don't want to wipe out everything and then just leave it there for whatever else is going to come in. Because the reality is that bacteria and all this stuff, they come in on the food that we're eating and other ways that they get into the body. It's almost impossible to avoid it, but our body is set up to take care of the problem. It's when they come in, in in large amounts or there are malfunctions with the body that are keeping the body from taking care of the situation, that's when we run into trouble. But I will say that if you do experience some food poisoning, you really wanna make sure that you wipe these guys out and then reestablish some good probiotics because I hear from a lot of people that come to me, I kinda of turned out to be like the poop guy, helping people with constipation and all these 
digestive issues. And people come to me with these issues that they've been dealing with for years or decades that have turned into all of these other severe health issues. And a lot of them will trace it back to, oh, it kind of started after I got food poisoning. My own issues that I experienced where I lost my voice for eight years, it all started after a cascade that was created after a major food poisoning episode. So when you have an issue like this, you really want to take steps to wipe these guys out and then reestablish a good gut flora with probiotics afterwards. But the most important thing to know is that a lot of people experience food poisoning because of a malfunction in the digestive system. It's kind of letting these critters in when that function will usually wipe them out. So what I want you to do now is jump over to our video on four steps to prevent food poisoning so you can understand this malfunction that can come about and how to correct it and other steps you can take to keep from having the food poisoning again. You don't want it. Check it out.